Welcome back tonight. The UNLV Rebel football team has been the talk of the town all season long, and it's not stopping anytime soon as they are set to play for a championship this weekend. Yeah, a lot of eyes will be on this game. Sports reporter Tina Wynn on what the Rebels have accomplished all in one season under Barry Odom. It's been a historic season for UNLV football. The Rebels are earning multiple Mountain West honors with kicker Jose Pisano named special teams player of the year, starting quarterback in Las Vegas' own Jaden Mayava named freshman of the year, and head coach Barry Odom earning coach of the year. One, we've got a great group of student athletes, great group of kids that are hungry, they work hard, they care and love about each other. Uh, they've enjoyed the process of preparing and practicing, and I think we've gotten better every single week. Um, so number one, it starts with them. Number two, I think we've got a great set of assistant coaches mm -hmm. and people that pour into our kids on a day to day basis, whether it's food and nutrition, strength and conditioning, <laughs> all the different people that touch your players every day. Uh, there's a singular focus and mission. In one season, Odom has not only turned heads at UNLV, but also a program that's seen its first nine win season since 1984. Our goal is to win the conference championship, and that's what our, our guys have locked in on that, that message and that mission. And with the biggest game in UNLV school history set to take place Saturday at Allegiant Stadium. Really excited about the opportunity to host our championship game uh, in year 25 of the Mountain West Conference, the historical uh, impact of this league across college football is uh, one that I've followed for a number of years and, and um, you know, I'm honored to have a chance to coach in this conference championship game. The Rebels have a chance to make even more of a mark when they'll look to play for their first Mountain West Conference title against Boise State. We're one of 20 teams in college football practicing today. Um, you know, getting ready for a championship game and I think that speaks volumes about the locker room that we have, about the opportunities that they have created for themselves. 